Close your eyes and watch your breath. Take care that your mind stays with the breath and doesn't go wandering off. Each time you breathe in, be right here with the breath coming in, and then with the breath going out, and then coming in again, going out again. Keep careful watch over the mind. This is the duty of alertness, to watch your mind carefully. In the Mangala, Mangala Sutta, the Buddha talks about avoiding evil and being heedful of your qualities of the mind. We might say, well, I don't do evil things. You think of evil things like the, those evil monsters you see in movies. But if you cut off your chance to do good, that's also a kind of evil. And here we are born as human beings. We have a human mind. We have a human body. And all too often we let our minds wander off into bad moods. You don't like this. You don't like that. You're upset about this, upset about that. And you're just going to brood about it for a while. All that time you're brooding, okay, you're cutting off the opportunities to do good. Because you don't know how much more time you have. But you do know you have the present moment. As the Buddha said, with each breath you should tell yourself, okay, I can do a lot with this breath. Each breath coming in, each breath going out, there's a lot to be done. It can be done for your own good, for the good of others. So don't cut off those opportunities. Be very heedful about where your mind is going. And especially this issue of bad moods. We're so good at creating a bad mood and then wallowing in it. You find fault with this, find fault with that. That's not good enough. This is not good enough. But it's good enough to breathe and it's good enough to do things that are good. That's whatever situation you're in. There's always a skillful way of responding to it. And that may require some sacrifices. But as I said, you don't know how much more time you've got. So make the, take advantage of the time you have right now. The ways you can build a good mood, you can breathe in different ways, you can talk to yourself in different ways. The Buddha points out that there are people out there who are good in some ways and bad in others. Well, it's just like monks back in the old days when they would go out looking for cloth for their robes. You'd sometimes you find a soiled piece of cloth where you tear off the soiled piece and you take just the good piece. Don't carry the soiled part around with you. Or in John Lee's example, you've got a mango and it's got a rotten spot with worms in it. Well, don't eat the worms. Eat the good part of the mango and let the worms have the rest. In other words, be careful about where you focus and what you talk to yourself about. And then there are the perceptions you hold in mind. If somebody's really bad all around, you've got to have pity for them. He said, it's like seeing somebody lying by the side of the road in a desert with no one to help, sick, weak. You can't help but feel sorry for them. Well, that's a person who has no good to them. Is like that sick person. You have to have some compassion. In other words, learn how to think in ways that are skillful, that are helpful, so you can keep on creating more and more good. Take advantage of that. You've got this human body. You've got this human mind. You went to all the trouble to create these things. Don't just fritter away your time. Make the best use of every breath you have. <laughs>